Hello guys, this is Kishan and this video is on how to delete duplicate records from a table. Every now and then we might have come across such scenarios where we have to delete duplicate records from a table. To solve this, we might be, we might be deleting uh, records manually or might be creating a script to delete the record. Right now I'll show you a simple trick through which you can delete all the duplicate records from a table. This trick contains two steps. Step 1 is to find the duplicate record. You can do it by using a group by having clause or else you can uh, use the row number function and you can find the duplicate records. And the step 2 would be de deleting these targeted records. I'll just show you a small example through which we will. I'll demonstrate how to find and delete such duplicate records. <coughs> so over here I have a table called as EMP. Now if you notice this table over here I have about 15 rows in this table, but all of them are not unique. See, like I have a employee ID of 100, first name Stephen, last name King, department 90. Similarly, I have employee ID 101, 2, 3, and again 103. So this 103 employee ID is being repeated. So it's a duplicate record. I have to delete one of them. Then I have employee ID 104, 5, 6. 6 is again repeating. So I need to delete 6. So first of all we need to find out the duplicate records from a table. I have even 107 which is repeating 2 times. So total 3 times. So I have to delete this 107, 106 and 103. To find the duplicate records what you need to do is you need to write select employee ID count of 1 from the table name group by the column. Over here I am considering employee ID to be the unique key and anywhere where employee ID is being to, uh, repeated I am uh, considering it as a duplicate record. Uh, based on your requirement or your scenario you need to define this group by clause. You might be considering uh, like a set of rows and then be considering considering the record as a duplicate like say suppose I, I want 103 to repeat but if they are in different department IDs then I need to add department ID clause over here then you need to add it in the select clause also yeah so this is it you need to determine what columns you are considering for for making uh, for you know knowing the record as duplicate or not so I am here taking it as a group by employee ID and then you need to put a heading. Let me just show you the output. You know this, how it is. See over here you get the count of how many times the employee ID is present in the table. As you can see, 100 is present one time, 101, one time, 102, one time, 103, two times. Similarly, 106, two times, and 107, three times. So it gives me the count of, uh, of the employee ID present in the table. So, if I do put a having clause, having would filter out the group by clause. So, I want having count of 1 greater than 1, means wherever the employee ID is being repeated more than once. So, I get the three, all these three records, like 103, I get the count twice, 106, 2 times, 107, 3 times. So, these are my targeted targeted rows, you know, I need to remove them to make uh, this table unique. <coughs> I'll just show you. I'll show you the distinct rows from this table. I have about 11 rows distinct, total of 15 and ele uh, distinct 11. Now this is the query to find and delete the duplicate records. What I I will just make this query again over here. What I what we have to do is we are doing select start from employee table. So all the records are there. Now let me give it an alias over here. SK and let me do this k dot star so it's just it's nothing i just gave an alias to the table now what next thing i want is i want the row number i want the row number i want the row number over i'll just show you how this row number works or i'll just order it by employee id so this function row number what it will do is it will just give a number to the uh, all of these rows like 100 number 1, 101, 2, 102, 3. This is row number, 3, 4, 103, 4. But we have a very good partition by clause over here. Partition by. So I can partition the table based on some column or a set of column. 
Now that that is the unique key that you are considering. Over here I'm considering employee ID. So I need to partition it by employee ID. So when I partition it by employee ID, what happens it? Every time it gets new employee ID, it starts with number one. So it gets employee ID 100, so it gives number one. Again, a new employee ID 101, it gives it one. New employee ID 102, it gives it one. 103 and new, it gives it one. But again, as you see, 103 is repeated second time. So this time it will just increment the number from one to two. Again, it gets a new employee ID. It gives a new, uh, it gives a row number as one. 105, 106, 1. Again, 106 is repeated, so it will give 2. So as you can see, all the non, all the, all the, all the columns are numbered over here. And all the columns other than 1 are duplicate. Here, 2 and 3 is duplicate, 2 is duplicate, 2 is duplicate. Yeah, so we need to target all these rows that are other than, uh, you know, 1. So let me give an alias R to this column as a rank you know and then let me take row id always work with the row id is more faster than you know accessing the columns i have taken the row ids so now what i'll do is i'll select the row id just row id i don't need other details from this sub query where where my r is not equal to one that means where the columns are being repeated other than one so I get four records. These are the four records that are being repeated. All I need to do is delete from EMP where row ID in this query <coughs> and it deletes four records. So as you can see, four records are deleted. All I need to do is just, you know, select stuff from employees. I get 11 records over here. See, I get 11 records and all my duplicate that is my duplicates were <coughs> 103, it is deleted now, 106 are deleted, 107 is deleted. So great. So in a single statement, you are finding your duplicates and you are deleting them. And it is quite fast because you are working with row ID. Just only one thing that you need to consider while doing is this, uh, this column by through which you are partitioning or you are grouping by because that is the columns that you are de determining your, your rows to be unique. So once you take a decision on this, you can simply use this query in any case and then delete the records. So this is the vision of the video. Thank you for sparing your time. Please do let me know what you think in the comments. Please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you.